So we'll start off by melting some butter in and putting a few little segments of bacon in the back. I've probably got an audience there. They think, I think they think that I'm mad. Um, I'm hoping that when I've cooked this, it'll prove to them that I know what I'm talking about. Right. A little bit of bacon just to get going in there, first of all. Then we'll have a finely chopped shallot, which we'll do like that. Just a little bit of shallot. Bum, 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 bum. It is true, you know, about these programs. We do. Where are you, Clyde? We really do wing these things, you know. I mean, it's, it is quite, um, it's quite good fun. It's quite exciting. Just turn the gas down a little. If you hear any strange noises and things, don't be surprised, because the restaurant is open. They are serving all their wonderful ribs and southern fried chicken and stuff. Right, a few little bits of red pepper at this stage. I've got this pan too hot. I'm in problems. Come on, let's turn that right down a bit. A few red peppers, a few bit of green peppers. I wanted to put some fresh chilies into this to make it a bit spicy, but I couldn't get any, so I'm using the red and green bell peppers instead. All right, in they go. Okay. Now, over here, or oh, you can stay where you are, I'm coming over here. I'm going to add some corn to that. Now that the bacon and the shallots and the peppers have all just sauteed down a little bit, then luck, as luck would have it, Irene had some real chicken stock. So I'm going to add a little chicken stock to that and now turn the gas right up. So while that's reducing, let's have a quick look at the phenomenon that happens every day at the Peabody Hotel. Come on, get him off, Malvin. You stand there and let him walk over you. Get off of there, you loud man. Twice a day, these ducks are marched from their fountain in the bar minute, to their duck palace on the 19th floor, wait, much to the delight of the tourists. A piece of Americana I could do well without. If I want to drink at a zoo, I take my own bottle. Next week, I shall train those luckless ducks to hang her right in front of the elevator and march straight into the kitchen. Back in the real kitchen, once that reduced, we whack some cream in. The next thing we have to do is add into this deliciousness a little drop of the Imperial Tennessee whiskey. Way, hey, that should give it a super duper flavor. Pop this up a bit. Mm-hmm, a little bit more butter. Flat out on the gas. Get myself a piece of fried chicken, which I'll put down here. Burn off the... Oh, this is it. This is it. I've got it now. It's ready to... That's it. Right. Here's my whiskey-flavoured corn sauce. Piece of Irene's fried chicken. Like that. And as I say, I give it some raw piquancy, a few of these little onions, and dust it with a bit of the chilli. There we are. Right. Memphis on a plate for me. <coughs> I'm either going to be dead or a hero.